Brandy La Cruz homered as well yesterday. He's returning from the injured list on Monday, who has hit his stride. Really, one bit easier in every outing. Day two. It's Mookie Betts. Right away, gets for the Marlins early on. De La Cruz chases two out. Yeah, we get up at the crack of noon. Change up disappears, and it's a one, two, three. It's Mookie Betts. Here come the Dodgers with a tough spot with Will Smith getting the day game off. Just a matter of can he put it where it's he will. The great arm. He was homered against him before, is pulled to short. Dodgers scored those eight runs yesterday. Strike three. The strikeout happens. Two up and two. Streak to 16 game. Crazy high bar. Center field for a two out base. He doesn't. Slicing down the left field line, whether it's getting shaded. Trust your process. Trevor, and it's worked. That's a balk on Weathers. Weathers delivers in the dirt. Far enough for Freeman to take third. 3 1. Smack to right field. That's a base hit, and the Dodgers get on the board first. Hernandez. Berger. That's the inning. There's during this 15 game run. It's the second for Miami. Hernandez went back at first. Now we lost column as far as. Whenever they put him in the outfield. I mean, we have not. And it's either been Pajes or throwing guys out. Getting a lot of help by the pit. Has been a phase of the game that has exceeded. Play by Bruhan. Tough throw. And he... But I wonder if the ball off of it's not a strike. And I'll strike three for the Loretta, Tennessee. What a burger whose running throw is in time to from Tampa Bay. After fluttering those change ups in there. Fortes to a leaping. One game's as hot as the Dodgers are. It looks like Mookie. He takes one. corner. No big deal for Teoscar Hernandez. Hey, Dodgers up a run. 43 to 11. Burger third to get Barnes. You mentioned yesterday. Distributions all over. Nation of average and pop. Not off the end of the bat that's run down in center field by Even Quan, who's second on that list. On the one two pitch. Chases. Strike three. Hit hard. Deep to left field. And De La Cruz is homered for the second game in a row. This one has tied the game. It's Burger. Is he able to get there? Turns the shoulders but for the year. A base hit to extend his on base streak to Nazu Sanchez. He goes to second one and starts a double play. Got to get down to flat ground. He uses some short chop. Burgers at third. Stone. Struck him out with the fourth against Weathers. Just barely fair. Bellway. Marlins trying to move him right now. The body is all about getting... Oh. Mookie Betts, perennial all-star. But to know what he doesn't know. Four. Elite. The bag, Freeman to Stone. Been so good. He's got it. Two out. Could have been called a strike. Max Muncy. One, two. Pot to right center field. The lead off this fifth. Confidence that even with an 0 for. Going to go perfect on this home. 4 3. It is. Otto Lopez has it yeah, in this inning. De La Cruz, who took him deep. He's pulled the short straw. Hernandez. Two up. Games. It's been very crisp. Josh Bell with two away. Glox and Gavin Stone pitches for 300 after this. He's not just left field by Gordon. Yeah, we've seen more of those. He struggled to get the barrel to it. Playing him towards the gap, so it's down and against the wall. In the air to left center field, carrying pretty well to the track. It's at the wall and it's gone. Schemes, beg your pardon, said Ladd. Ground ball to second, ends the inning at three to one. Going there again. Max Muncy said it be three yesterday and 0 for two so far. For an inside. That's athletic play. 
Up to that thought in a moment. Betts on uh, this 2-1. Fortes. Sunshine. Muncy's got it spotted. And Gavin's trying to find it. Yeah, Bruhan will. The conversation that he had with Pajes. This is once again. And Bruhan almost an instant replay. And it will be Sanchez coming up. Strike one on Otto Grove as he's done what you're touching on. And for Chisholm, a good player. 3-2. Three three Pajes. Grove has retired the first two. That's how you want him with De La Cruz. The way. On this day game, but dies in the... Supposed to be extra challenge. Concentrate on the end of the road. Barnes flies to Chisholm. Peps in for his first hit. Get anything space hits. But it has been... Find out. Down the line and caught by Gordon. The two for three for the first time since ninth. There goes Betts. Throw down in time. A pop fly right field. Teoscar Hernandez. Home with an 0 2. Strikes him out. On. Bouncing ball over Hudson at second. Not an easy play, but Rojas able to make it. You now have four home runs in the last six games. What adjustments did you make just to bring more power back into your swing as of late? Uh, nah, nothing different. It just uh, I know I have power. Uh, I just need to, to hit the ball. Uh, obviously, I had a lot of strikeouts, and that's been an issue for me in my career. And right now, I'm just trying to uh, put the ball in play, uh, try to get like, like a good pitch selection, and just uh, get the goal results uh, happen in the game, and uh, not chasing hits, uh, just not trying to do too much. Gavin Stone today, seven innings. How impressive was he on the mound? He was impressive. You know, he gave he gave uh, give off the chance. Uh, to score some runs with it, and uh, he had a pretty good game today. All right, this homestand. Last one, thanks to Go West Plan. You guys went 3-6 and six. to come back home to perform in front of your fans, to go 6-0 and oh back at home. How special are these moments, and how good did it feel to get back on track here? You know, uh, we know uh, uh, the kind of team we are. We know that things are going to go the way we wanted to go. We just uh, wait for the time, and uh, it's happening right now, so uh, let's keep rolling. Yeah, enjoying the moment. Well, Teoscar, yep. congratulations on the win and the fantastic homestand. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, that's, uh, that's a goal of mine for sure, to get deep into the games uh, and help our bullpen out a little bit. Um, but, yeah, that's just... Uh, speaks on the conviction in, uh, that I have in all my pitches and stuff. And so I'm um, just trying to keep that going. What was the focus for you today? And just how are you able to kind of navigate through their lineup, and especially there, I believe it was the fourth, um, managing just the traffic on kind of getting out of it? Yeah, Mark and Connor lay out a pretty good play or pregame plan. And so, uh, and then Barnsey, you know, he's a vet. He's, he's, he's great behind the plate. And he calls a great game. And so just relying on Barnsey and, you know, um, just sticking to uh, sticking to the game plan, really. Yeah, I would say probably just confidence, conviction. I feel like that's key for not only me but for every pitcher. And so, if you pitch with a conviction, uh, more likely than not, good things will happen. What's it uh, mean to you to have the success that you've had recently, especially with you know Kirsch still out? Walker just came back, no dust in May. I mean, this team really needs you right now, and, and you're pitching very well. Yeah, it's huge. Um, it's definitely something that I worked on all offseason. Um, you know, just trying not to get back to the spot that I was in last year. Um, and I am very thankful for, you know, last year. It taught me a lot about baseball, about the game, about life. Um, but, yeah, just trying not to get back to, you know, that spot. Let's start with Gavin Stone. Just continuing to see him impress this year. What did he do today that allowed him to just really be really effective? Um, he uh, filled up the strike zone, um, glove side, mostly arm side. The lefties in there uh, was working today. Um, yeah, I mean, he had command of all of his pitches. Uh, the change up, strike to ball, was able to shorten when he needed to, induced a lot of uh, weak contact. Uh, I think even in that one inning where uh, base hit, infield hit, and then uh, he gets the double play, first and second base, nobody out. Um, that was a big, that was a big spot. Uh, field his position, uh, make a good, accurate throw, turn a double play, gets out of that inning, 
And uh, beyond that, there was no stress. Um, so to see him again, you know, get through the seventh inning is, is pretty uh, commendable. And uh, Michael was good today. And uh, Huddy was, was really good. So uh, credit to uh, Austin and uh, Gavin. They just worked really well together today. Hey, Oscar, I know just obviously with him, he was a big addition to this team this offseason. But seeing how he's really just come clutch in certain situations, how does he continue just to really lengthen the lineup in different ways? He, he's done great. Um, I, I think for me, he, he's exceeded all of my expectations, uh, you know, when we acquired him. Uh, Obviously, he uh, has a lot of fun playing the game. And in that situation right there, uh, they were trying to pitch around him and be careful and got to 3-2 and just left that change up just a little bit up. And uh, he put a good swing on it, so give him a lot of credit. But he likes being in that spot. He, he's not afraid to drive in a run. Dave, uh, Ipe Mizahara is agreed to plead guilty to the bank fraud charge that just came out about an hour ago. Your thoughts on that? And then my second question is, you guys go through a stretch where you lose seven of nine at home. Now you've won 14 of 16. Is that just baseball, or are there a couple things that you can point out to? Um, yeah, I, I really don't. I didn't even realize that the translator uh, situation. So I, I got no comment on that. I just um, I hope this is some more closure and we can just move forward. And um, you know, the last series it's uh, stark uh, as far as how we've played uh, that series versus this series. So. Uh, I'm just happy with the way we're playing baseball. Dave, what about your starters on this home stand? I mean, three of them go at least seven innings, only 10 earned runs allowed through the six games. Yeah, I mean, you, you win and you sustain winning with starting pitching. Um, you give us a chance, they're giving us a chance to win. Um, they're taking care of the bullpen. And then with that, today we didn't put up a bunch of runs, but we scored just enough, got a big hit when we needed. But yeah. The starters are really coming into their own, and I think it's one of those things where, you know, I think hitting is contagious, and I also think uh, starting pitching uh, is contagious. Those guys are a close-knit group, and um, they're pushing each other, which is, uh, you know, beneficial to all of us. Um, you know what, to be quite honest, I don't think anyone, you know, saw this. Um, he, he's learned, he's taken all the information, he's gaining experience. Um, I'm sure Gavin believed, you know, he could do this, but, you know, the stuff that he's doing, you know, he, he's uh, earning that right to kind of build himself up to that, you know, top of the order rotation guy. And that's a guy that when you go out there, and I keep saying this, uh, it seems like every night where you have a guy that you trust to go deep in a game and um, that can take down good lineups, go three times through the lineup and then, um, you know, put up zero. So Gavin, you know, each time he's out there, I think he's just continuing to build confidence.